Hi, right, fellow skeptics. Lester the Skeptic Tank here. I, you know, just fresh off watching the game. You can probably tell by what I have on top of my head about what team I was rooting for. So I'm just kind of, I'm not the rabbit fan I used to be when I was in high school, but, you know, it's just something, I'm just feeding off the buzz right now. Niner is going to the Super Bowl. Now, with that aside, this is going to be like an interesting change up. I, talked in my last videos about this set of unboxings being a three-parter and, and I'm gonna likely reverse order in some ways um, so just kind of a backstory you guys have seen my unboxing with the what's called the gadget club and then there was another venue again what I mentioned in my my last unboxing or so whichever video that was when it came to these subscription boxes for example loot crate uh, the, I used geek fuel in the clip the past and forgot what the other pop popular one is but it's one of those you know those geek boxes whatever you might want to call them you, you, use, um, you get if you were to subscribe to it you get a box full of goodies for in, each month so I was amazed and I was anticipating it. I didn't know what it would look like. And it came into the mail in my parcel lock. Not in my, I think it was in my mailbox. And I wasn't sure what it was. But then when I saw the word crate joy, because that's how it was given to me as a gift from my sister and her husband. So I'm going to do the first item here. I was just amazed. Like, Again, I don't know if I'll ever subscribe to another service like it. I may, but I don't think I'm short of trinkets and and goodies and what have you from various aspects of pop culture, what I grew up with. So the first item I'm going to show here, which this looks to be a lanyard based on the material. Yep, it's a lanyard. And... I'm going to think this might be. I'll 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 expand it. Can't really take a guess because ah, oh, it's Naruto. Yep, and it's a lanyard, Naruto. I, in all honesty, I I have those services: uh, High Dive, Crunchyroll, uh, Funimation. I think those are the big three terms of that it might be on Netflix I could also utilize that if I need to catch up on Naruto but you know it, I think I've mentioned it in many other videos but I like what I like not that whatever may be bad it's just oh another thing I need to be on top of oh and speaking of which in terms of my celebratory um, Wearing the thing that I had uh, <laughs> I had unboxed earlier, so <laughs> kind of a spoiler, if you will. <laughs> I'm wearing it. I like it because, as Middlecoff acknowledges, he he, uh, he says this multiple times in his streams. He's a Niner guy. Cool. So am I. So I, I I did this. I'm still not sure what I feel about a white hat. I have a couple of white hats, but I tend to be more of a I am not even sure about this scheme here, the, the red and golden brown, although I did have a retro or vintage looking jacket at some point in my childhood growing up. Yeah. Don't know about this scheme. I think this will go well with this, but um, certain color schemes work for me. Some don't. Um, but anyway, that aside, that's not... Well, I have to say, though, it, for a small, if it's well for me, it's not too long. I don't think I have to tuck it in or anything like that. So the lanyard is one. I have way too many lanyards, but I suppose if I want to change it up or if I really feel like I need to keep a mental note about what keys I want on a certain lanyard. And speaking of keys, got a little, what looks to be a Link Lego, Link, Lego Link, whatever you want to call it keychain and cool thing about this 
is it's got the sword and shield. So again, it's just a matter of, okay, what do I want? Again, keeping a mental note, like, I'm not, I'm not exactly about accessorizing what I, what I have at home. But I, I am at a point where sometimes I feel like, yeah, my lanyard that I use for all my keys, not too, not terribly heavy. It's just, it weighs a thing. It weighs something, not terribly heavy. It's just, do I feel like I need to carry all those keys? And I realized there was a pack of keys I didn't really need anymore. So this is an interesting way to do it because this is the sword coming with it and the shield. So it makes me wonder if I want to keep this and it is a Lego piece, I could probably situate it on top of my uh, uh, Lego Lamborghini, have them as part of the motif. Yeah. I don't know. It, it just feels odd if I were to, I, I don't know. I, I, I could also technically hang such stuff like this on, on, on a wall if I have the right peg or push pin. I've been using push pins for a lot of my stuff. Not, I don't feel too comfortable about having to drill a hole. Luckily, most sometimes the, the more extreme thing I've done was uh, put a nail on the wall. But other than that, no drilling or anything like that. See, it comes with a shield. Pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to think of if I... If, oh, yeah, I still have the envelope. I can... I'll probably uh, see if I can find the website because my sister and her husband were the ones who ordered it and had it sent to me, so many thanks. The next one. I'm a sucker for good, but a good button. In the words of Office Space, I'm good. I'm a, I'm a sucker for good flair. You know, there's a way to do the flair, and there's a way not to do the flair, and also it depends on what flair you're sporting. So if you can't tell through the wrap, I guess I can open it. There, that I don't think all the camera's gonna have too much of a glare. Okay, hopefully it, it'll focus autofocus. But for those who know Dragon Ball Z, they can kind of tell which character this is depicting. This is Vegeta for those who are familiar, and maybe those who are not. This looks like a magnet. Oh, I gotta keep this away from my computer. I'm trying to think of what this magnet is. Honestly, don't know. It looks like a Final Fantasy depiction. I'll put it on my fridge right now. I'll be back. Not sure what this one is. Maybe those who are more initi initiated may know. This is kind of cool. I'm wondering if this is another magnet. So there's that. So that stuff's cool. I don't, uh, I think the Vegeta, uh, I, there are varying degrees of, I don't know if I call them fandom. I'm, I'm not like a Vegeta fanboy, Goku fanboy, Gohan fanboy. I do have a Gohan figure I got off a of Facebook ad. <laughs> and, um, but the, that, I like, I like their angle for a certain saga. So for the Gohan, it was when Gohan became Super Saiyan level two, blah, blah, blah. Um, 
This looks like a sticker. I think this is what came with it. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to... It's probably something... It looks like a... could be a postcard. But I could be wrong. I'll, I'll, yeah. <clears throat> probably a postcard or some sort. But the cool thing I got was... Um, Uh, those who can, let's see if you can see. So this is cool. Okay. And. Oh, more stick. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing these. More stickers. I think this is a Dragon Ball-ish. Let's see if I can go through each one. So that was one. Uh. Yeah. There has been a lot over YouTube about th th this new line. Um, I, at some point, subscribed to what's called Cos uh, Comics Unlimited or something on Amazon where you can read digital comic books. Just so I can take a stock of the original J. Joe comic book. It's a different lore. And it is something to think about if you really want to assess the property or the, the the characters, how they're told in the comics versus how they're told in the TV show, which I grew up with. The next one, uh, cool. I got to check this one out. Snake Eyes. Just something about when you have a good name, it, 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 I don't know if it immortalizes the character, but it's just something especially – even though I didn't care for the movie that came out, <laughs> whenever that came out, I, I didn't care for it. I, a lot of the live action J. Joe I did not care for. Um, but we'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll take stock of this and, and see how I think about it. Let's see if I can crack open these stickers. And let me see if this is the right. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's see. I'll fish for it later, but it's it's um again it's just because I I I don't think I I have a real need to collect Particularly with a gadget box, I don't need a gadget every month, although, you know, it's nice. I'll see if I, and yeah, there are incentives for you to describe, uh, subscribe versus the one-time cost to get a box shipped out to you. And, you know, sometimes if you have the ability to and see what the box is going to include, that would probably be where, I'm, okay, I can see myself getting those, but I don't, I don't feel a need any longer to start collecting certain things. It's got to it's got to speak to me in certain ways. Let's see what these stickers are all about. Yeah, these look very Dragon Ball Z centric. Based, okay. So I got I showed you this. Huh. Hmm. I don't know what your guys' take is, but this is a uh, reminiscent of it's like when the Super Nintendo came out with the, this button arrangement. A lot of gamepad manufacturers, whether for the consoles themselves or PC makeshifts, they've copied a lot of, they copied this one a good bit. And I, I know that this four button layout is something even the Xbox had started, had begun to use. Uh, but it all started with uh, the Super Nintendo controller. Uh, I think that layout is a, it's what started it all. Uh, more Dragon Ball, a young Goku, it looks like. Majin Buu. It's all, for me, it's just a matter of where I want these, all, uh, what stuff do I want this on. Maybe I should put these on some of my religious books. <laughs> Ooh, not exactly a tattoo idea, but, you know, I, I could see myself putting this on something else. Yeah, looks pretty cool. And... Ah, 
Death Note, not, again, I like what I like. I never saw Death Note. It just, it's not a matter of it. It probably didn't appeal to me, but again, I liked what I liked and, you know, it just seemed a little bit out of what I normally go for in an anime. I'm very, I'm pretty picky. I'll kick tires, you know, I'll, I'll watch an episode or two or something like that. Um, speaking of Dragon Ball Z, we've got the logo, the logo here. This looks like a Death Note. I could be wrong. Those more initiated maybe will tell me what that really is. Plus Ultra. Don't know what this is about. I'll put the, probably put this on the wall. I have a desk cab, a desk setup I was gifted from, from a friend of mine at, at a, one of my other parishes. You know, I might stick this on my uh, cabinet door for the for the desk I have. Again, not quite sure. Again, probably another cabinet door. So. Hey guys, thank you for your time and <laughs> letting me unravel what I was gifted during the week. Good to finally get it out of the way. What did I real? What did I get? I got some pretty good stuff. I, 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 I again the Lego keychain. That probably has to be objectively the the better item, uh, along with the comic books. But I, I'm, I'm, I, it's like I can do a twofer if I want to keep it as a keychain, but. But it almost stands to be a, however I want to do it. I can make it a decorative. <laughs> and if I can space out the holding of the shield and the sword of this guy, it'd be pretty cool. It's, it's, it's a different way of looking at it. And I can have him also. Well, see, it won't be, it won't be out of the way. I don't think it'll be, I don't think it's going to clash with my, uh, it's, I don't think it's going to clash if I stand in the, uh, with my Lego figure. And I can have him hold the shield and, and sword. So that's cool. Uh, the button. I might put this on my, uh, which bag I want to put it on. That's gonna, it's probably going to be on my, uh, my, my little med kit. So again, guys, thank you for your time. Uh, Give me the space to do a quick celebration for the Niners and Super Bowl and just taking a peek at what I did get from my sister and her husband. So many thanks. You know who you are. And I know you guys watch. Thank you for acknowledging that you guys watch my content, guys. So kudos and shout out to you two. Um, and appreciate that they took what I had put on, on my channel and they roll with it. And... They kind of knew what to get me. That that's the thing. Uh, when it came when it comes to being older and you've got purchasing power in certain respects, you almost don't feel the need to tell people what you want for your birthday or for Christmas or whatever. I I think the best one is when they when I, I say surprise me, and especially when it comes from a good place. When you tell someone to surprise to surprise you, and they do their best to roll the dice on how well do they know you or how well do they know me in this respect, my sister and her husband. So there, there isn't much. You know, I, I, I've rolled the dice with my niece and nephew respectively in the last couple of years about what to get them for Christmas, what to get them for their birthday. And it's not that we want to shy away the, the youth from telling us what they want for their birthday, but especially in the context of my, I know the siblings who have their children, they could afford some of what that person wants. And of course, with my parents being the grandparents and with their in-laws being grandparents, that wish list can easily be fulfilled. So I kind of respected that, like knowing them, they, they would, they would, more or less foot the bill not saying parent grandparents would have to do that but it's kind of it's kind of implied so uh, on that note uh i do thank you again guys for sticking with me through thick and thin especially when i, I had that little vacation from youtube 
it's nice to unplug a little, but thank you for continue your con continued subscription. For those who have subscribed, as always, drop a comment. I one way or the other, whether you put a thumbs up, I appreciate that. But comments help me figure, okay, what do I want to give you guys next? And so on that note, until the next video, fellow skeptics, peace out, and I'll catch you all on the other side.